Port Augusta is a working class community. We have high unemployment, very high youth unemployment. In 2015, our local coal-fired power station announced its closure, which meant we were going to lose at least 200 positions from our local community and 200 jobs further up the road where the coal mine was. And the Port Augusta community was facing devastation. We needed an alternative. Port Augusta could see that there was no long-term future in a coal-fired power station, so they began campaigning for a renewable energy future. So South Australia really came to our interest as a result of a locally um, led community campaign by a group called Repower Port Augusta. So Repower Port Augusta was formed back in 2012 from a group of businesses and individuals that were really pushing the transition from coal to, to something else. Port Augusta has been generating electricity from coal for over 60 years and over that time the community has raised many, many questions about what the effects of that coal has, has had on the community and its health. And so five or six years ago when we knew that the coal-fired power station was coming towards the end of its life, we looked to find an alternative and that alternative that presented itself uh, was a solar thermal power station. So what's important with the technology is that we decouple how we collect energy from how we generate energy, which means that we can provide very firm, reliable electricity both during the day and at night time. Solar thermal technology with storage could provide 24 hour solar energy uh, and solar power to our communities across our state. And that provided a really real alternative um, that still created jobs, but enabled us to have clean air and see action on climate change. the community got behind it. There was a small group of us that met monthly and, and continued to meet for those whole six years. The Australian Youth Climate Coalition got involved in this campaign around 2011 when we held our first Reclaim the Grid rally. Since then we've helped with the Walk for Solar, we've rallied numerous times, we've met with state and federal MPs and we've had thousands of conversations, especially with young people, about what repowering Port Augusta would mean. I think there were certainly times when we thought we should give up. I think at that point though we had all got so connected to Port Augusta, the community up there and just really bought into this vision of a clean energy future for the town. And that really came to our interest that solar thermal might be an opportunity in a place like South Australia. And the more we, uh, more we evaluated, the more we looked at it, the more we spoke to the local community, it, it, it was very, very obvious that it was a, a, a fantastic uh, location for this sort of technology. It's got, a, it's got an incredible number of attributes. It's a tremendous solar resource. Obviously, the community is highly supportive of it. It's at a really important point in the transmission network. And um, yet, importantly, there's, there's a group of locally skilled people that have worked at the existing coal power station that potentially can come and work on our facilities. A lot of, a lot of good, strong reasons why um, South Australia was chosen. Today I can announce that Solar Reserve has been awarded the contract to supply all of the government's energy needs. That community, uh, together with the, a business that was promoting a solar thermal project, together with the state government, have teamed together to make that project a reality. So the government, using its procurement, its electricity buy, the company that had the technology that they'd already put in place in Arizona, and the community which created the social license to create this project. So this project represents um, a very important application of the principle of a just transition. Understanding the future, uh, investing government, community and business together to actually provide a pathway for those workers and their families to see a future for themselves in a new industry, a renewable energy industry. The Repower Port Augusta campaign has brought significant attention internationally to this town and the potential for renewables is huge. We have at least seven projects underway, so in about three to four years, Port Augusta will be the renewable energy capital of Australia, if not the world. It's an amazing story of a transition from a, from a coal-powered community to a renewable community. And, um, our project is just one of a number of uh, renewable projects that are being pursued in, the, in that region. It's a win for Port Augusta, it's a win for energy consumers, it's a win for South Australia 
and it's a win for the transition to clean, affordable, reliable power for our nation and the world. What has been a wonderful outcome of this process has been that there's a whole new generation who believe that they can exercise their democratic power to change the future. And that's just magic. That's like the best outcome that we could possibly have had.